Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Epic Quest. Today we're going to try and reach Bowser's true island. Bowser Jr.'s our model. This ought to be interesting. How do they handle Bowser Jr.? Oh, I start aboard a ship already. I was hoping to have to get aboard. You know what? I will just accept what I am given. I thought this was going to be made of explosives, but, you know, I'm going to get rid of it now, any, whatever. Well, this is interesting that they gave me a leaf so early on in the level. I appreciate this. Like, they've been really averse to give me leaves so far. Oh, hey, explosives. This slow moving. This is kind of surreal. Oh. Oh. You know, I'll leave that for a next run. The way I handle things, uh. Oh, hey. Nope. Wait a second, how am I meant to... Um... Wait a second. Oh, that's interesting. And explains much. Like... Why these barriers appear? Well, no, that doesn't explain why those barriers appear. Hmm. Alright, another set of weird, uh... Low-firing things. Okay, what am I missing here? Oh, hey. I see what I'm missing here. Okay, so... Oh, hey, mushroom! Why did I try and... You know... I'm gonna question it. I did a thing in a way that got me hurt. Okay. Oh, hey. This level is fascinating to me. Oh, right. This gimmick that keeps coming back. Oh, no. And I have to... I don't know why they block me in. But they do. It's just that that's such a bizarre choice. Oh, hey. I hope I have enough time to... Okay. Another checkpoint. I'm glad the checkpoints are at least fairly generous. So, this situation again. Okay. 
here. Wait, no, I need to wait for this to head back enough that I can land on the thing. Fortunately, with the help of the tail, that's way... That was entirely my fault. Okay, so, back to this place. Alright. And make the run. Wait for it to head back enough that I can do this. Don't get overexcited about Hitting these blue. Hmm. Okay. So, the issue here is a processing issue in my head. There are so many things going on at once with having to move this forward and also dodge things. Interesting. Why? What do I want this for? Hmm. So here's where I have an issue. Okay, so then. Okay. Like, I want to dodge these things so I can maintain my tail, but, whoops, well, that's a dead idea. Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't know why I decided that, that was the time to do that, but here we are. Well, apparently that was the time to do that. Whoa! Oh, is that what the first block like this was for? A tutorial? Sets me because now I have to redo this entire thing. Also, I don't understand what's up with those uh, Mecha Koopas that just kind of show up and fall off screen. So the issue with here... Really? is I feel like this and this are slightly too far apart to do this comfortably. Or 
first with this things are far are close enough to do things comfortably and the challenge is in dodging stuff okay okay so those five things are not worth picking up I don't think Wait for the rest to shoot. And then... Oh, hey, what's this? Really? I am so attentive to my surroundings, it's great. Okay. So... I expected the... Where'd the coin go? I don't know why, but I, for some reason, expected the... Uh... Oh, phew. Oh, nice. I expected hitting the piece with. Speaking of, you can't believe how furious I was when you incinerate Dad's body and crush his bones yet again. I've had enough of being the loser of these games. That's why I built this epic doom mech to destroy your epic quest once and for all. Okay, so. That's an extra hit that I could have taken advantage of. No? Oh, okay. I am, in fact, supposed to hit that. Anyway, the P-Switch. I don't know why, but in my head I expected the P-Switch to, uh... Activate as soon as I set it down. I spent way too much time building this behind my dad's back for it to fail. I'm so sorry, Dad. I guess you were right. I'll never be ready enough to defeat these plumbers. When you come back, I'll accept whatever punishment you give me from now on. Well, that's kind of depressing. No, no, no! I can't accept this! I won't! This is not who I am. I'm not some whiny crybaby that wallows in raging tears when something doesn't go my way. Not anymore. No more fancy mechs or gadgets. This will be a fight between me and you. I can pummel you using only the support of my top-tier Mecha Koopas, the one toy that stuck by my side after all these years, along with the spirit of the only person I've ever been able to call family, my dad. Okay. Okay, so... Like, no, I do not jump on you. Oh, hey. So I guess I need to get you a 20 Mecha Koopas. Uh-oh. Only 19 more. 18. 17. I do appreciate how those mushroom setups are handled so that you're in a 
relatively safe location where you won't get stomped on. Yow! That's smart! But it doesn't even matter! Thanks to you, I've gained so much strength in a way that I never thought would be possible. I can feel such a connection with my dad, whose strength is reviving as we speak. It won't be long before he'll give you your final game over, and I can't wait to get front row seats. The best entertainment of my life. See you when it's showtime! Okay. Well, ho, I recognize that joyous jumping sound from anywhere. It's our fellow masters, Mario and Co. Allow me to exit my hiding spot for a moment. Let me just hit that switch and presto. Oh. I assume you are shocked to see me in such a dangerous environment, being the ripe age I am. There's a lot about me you don't know, fellow masters, dating all the way back to the days of yore. So, what you think? Quite the clever hiding spot? It was one of the first training exercises I ever took when I enlisted in the Mushroom Kingdom Royal Force. Anywho, I've been doing my research into this airship and have executed a plan to reach the optimal point of entry. That of which is right here, next to the helm room. I've also managed to snatch a key to the room when no one was looking, then quickly hid to avoid being spotted. Now that you've defeated that troublesome son of Bow that troubled son of Bowser, we can disarm the airship's lethal forces and fly to our next destination. The island where the princess is being held is at hand, fellow master. Now go forth and take the helm. All of our faith rests upon you. And the key just emerges from the ground. I mean, considering where he was hiding, in the ground, that makes sense. All right. And now to try and get the missing dragon coins. Dragon coins? Star coins. Okay, so. Yep, this is a tutorial for that kind of thing. Okay, so. Right, the first dragon star coin that I missed was in a place like this. Alright, got that. Now I just need to hit a checkpoint. Oh, yes, definitely want double leaf. So what's with all these up arrows? Fascinating. Okay, so those ones don't hurt me when they shoot at him. Good. This level feels a lot better than a lot of recent levels I've played. What's going on? What's going on here? This was where I had some processing difficulties, but this introduces a gimmick that will be used at least once more during this stage. Hiya. And then just get over here. Oh, hey. Oh, interesting. They really want me to want this. I don't know why. But I don't want it. This episode does do a lot more with the uh, time stop and stuff than uh, I've seen other episodes where it's just like a one off. Difficult spot. Okay. And, oh, hey, it stopped briefly, which gave me the time I needed to uh, 
get over to the other side. Okay. to uh, open the way. I don't know why this is a thing here, but whatever. Wait for the next round of shots. And there we go. Right, I was supposed... I was supposed to grab the time stopper for this. on through here and done. Oh. Grab this. That way if I die try okay. okay. I wish there was a way to cancel the time stopping thing early. These, uh, don't hurt me when they bounce off of me, so I can just stand here and do as I like. Alright. Hehehe, <laughs> look who decided to disrupt my only playtime by invading my dear old dad's most trusty airship. After last time, my dad punished me when I couldn't pummel your plumber booty. I was never given the chance to prove how capable I am at combat. No thanks to you. Okay, and then the rest of the stuff that we have, in fact, seen before. Oh. Oh, can't reach that one. Okay, that didn't... Oh. Now I have to actually use things as intended. I have to play with things as intended instead of using ice to cheese the combat. Ice cheese. I don't know, that doesn't sound good. this uh this something something there's some at least to be had out of this sheesh really I did not expect that to turn around at me why is this so difficult I'm sure it wasn't exactly easy last time, but... Ah! But at least I was able to consistently get hits in. Okay, got you that time. to get that uh, star coin again. The reason I did things the way I did them was because I was like, oh yeah, the boss will be easy. I was like, yeah, I beat the boss in one shot before. The boss will be easy. And now I find that the boss behaves differently than I expected. There. 
And now I just need to go here and deal with this stuff. Alright, I don't want to get caught in that butt. Oh. Whatever. down here. Hmm. Interesting, these bricks don't even respond to me hitting them. Okay, get rid of this. Oh, really? Whatever. Okay, and now's where things start to go awry because things are interacting with each other. Really? I had that. Why did I mess up that jump? Okay. Okay. Many of them. Okay, so then. Okay. Okay, I don't. I'm glad that they reduced his health for that. Now, grab the star. to Toadsworth, get the door, and then head on out. Okay. Still a much better experience than several other recent levels. So uh, join me next time on Bowser's True Island, I guess.